welcome back. You're here with Nate, and this is Crossbeats Production. Thank you for tuning into this channel. I hope you guys have had a prosperous uh, new year so far, and I wish you guys the best of luck for 2020 and everything that you do. Um, thank you for everything you do for this channel as well. I really appreciate all the likes, subscribes, comments, and uh, all the love you guys show on this uh, channel. It's really been uh, just you know rewarding to see that I'm helping people out there and showing them how to do things, or even teaching them or learning from them either way so uh, thank you guys for that and let's get into this tutorial without further ado and go through some of the features or i guess a little technique that i've been using inside of studio one uh, to get that kind of Poltec sound of eq um, using the stock plugin so the pro eq uh, this is a maybe something i want to i'll actually give you guys like a preset or something like that i might release a few presets in the near future I had planned to do that, it's just been super busy over the Christmas period. I had a break as well, so it kind of slowed me down. So let's get into this. I want to show you guys a little tip and um, just give you a behind the scenes of what's happening with um, the Solid EQ or the Poltec style of EQ. So let's get into it. So the plugin itself, this is the UAD version. There are so many versions out there, so don't go at me because I'm using UAD. This is just one of the plugins that I like to use. So it's the Poltec style of EQ, so it's the EQ P1A. And it has the legacy version. There is another version, the newer version, but I use legacy because I don't want to give them all my money. Um, so, <laughs> so anyway, the boosting and the cutting is at 60. This is actually another setting I've got set on 100 on the actual um, diagram that I'll show you in a second. But I'm just boosting at about 3.8 and cutting at 3.5. And it's actually going to be 100 hertz on this diagram here. So this is what the the end result looks like once you boost and cut. So the purple line here um, is actually the boost and the cut section here. So it's giving you like a shelf and the shelf is like a low shelf there. It's boosting at hundred. So you can see where the curve kind of goes down here and it cuts out at about 500 onwards till about two to five K. Uh, and that's kind of like what the Poltec does. It's very renowned for its sound, its style of EQ. And it's just allowing you sort of like a boost, a push pull style of EQ. So that's what's happening in the Poltec the UAD version. Now, I was also analyzing the solid uh, bus, oh, sorry, so, so, solid EQ by Native Instruments. And this is on the G channel section uh, because the E channel didn't replicate kind of the curves that I wanted. That's more like a rock style of EQ. The G is more like a hip hop sort of style of Poltec sort of style EQ. Uh, which gives you this kind of thing. So I had it set a little bit differently because I couldn't go all the way down to 100 with the, the low mids uh, LMF, um, but I've got my neighbors through the window. I'm just looking over there. Um, anyway, so I had the EQ set at 100 on the lows, so low frequencies and 200 hertz on the low mid frequencies and just the standard kind of Q there. But it kind of gave me a similar kind of style of EQ. And I'll just show you the graph here. This is what I got. So kind of like a shelf again, maybe more of a pronounced shelf right near the end, but it did give you a bit of a shelf and more curve down and kind of gradually hitting the same kind of frequencies as before. Now, if you're looking at the, the fat channel, which is available inside of Studio One, um, they have like a Poltec kind of thing there. So I guess it's defeating the purpose of sharing some of this, but I don't really think it sounds the same as what I'm doing. Uh, it may sound good, uh, but it's just not the same. So I want to actually see it graphically uh, more visually than just seeing the same kind of EQ and also show you guys kind of what it's doing behind the scenes because, you know, some people do things and I guess when it's, when you're starting out, it's very difficult to grasp um, just the sound of it, knowing what tone you're listening for um, and, you know, kind of lows and highs and all that sort of stuff. So, it does help to see things visually. So let's bring up the Pro EQ. Uh, the Pro EQ is the stock EQ inside of Studio One. So I might share some presets in the future with you guys as well. So you can kind of just throw them on there and hope that uh, it kind of works on your track and it may benefit you. So the boosting is happening at 100. We've got 4 dB of boost and that's the gain at the low shelf. I'm using the 12 dB shelf there. That gives me that kind of style that I want. It's more like the Poltec. And on the, the low mid frequencies, I'm using the same frequency again. So 100 Hertz, this is the push pull style of uh, EQ we're going for. And I'm, I'm reducing the frequency by about 3.1 ish uh, dB. So it gives me the sound that I'm going for with the Poltec. So we'll have a listen to that and I'll just show what I'm talking about here. So let's play the track. I uh, will go without the EQ first. And this is on a kick. 
a low end 808 and a bell you can hear there playing as well. So let's go. Now, if you listen to that, put some headphones on as well, go back and play it again if you didn't hear that uh, correctly without headphones or a good set of studio monitors with a sub, um, you should be able to hear where the kick really gets that thump at the low end, and that's because obviously I'm boosting at about 50 hertz, uh, it's giving it a pretty decent boost there, and I'm cutting some at 100. But this is kind of the style of EQ that what, what the Poltec would actually do in this situation. So I figured it's really handy to have a visual and then sort of replicate that on the stock EQ inside of Studio One. Now I'll disengage that and I'll just engage the solid EQ. We've got similar kind of things happening here. So let's play without and then with. If you notice the meters, there is a slight increase in volume. That is more at the low end frequency because the drive or the or the force or the power, I should say, of the low end frequencies is quite significant. It's not as audible though, um, but it is definitely the feeling that you get in the chest um, when you when you boost. So I want to kind of give you, you know, what a visual look like would be on this kind of style of Poltec EQ. And then I guess if you replicate the same kind of thing, if you actually went in there, use the fat channel, which I'll just engage that, see if we can get similar kind of sound to that. I uh, will just boost here at about three ish attenuate and uh, see what we can get. I think it was about 3.7. Let's have a listen to that. Now you can see straight away, uh, too much is happening there. It's way too boosted. I don't know why this kind of EQ works the way it does, but if we disengage it, it's just it's just boosting way too much. So for me, I don't really like this fat channel EQ, at least the way it works uh, in its current state. It might work better when you're using the console itself, you know, the, the PreSonus console there. Um, but it definitely does give an increase in uh, volume there. So anyway, so I thought I might share that with you, um, give you kind of an idea of what happens with the Poltec EQ. And also maybe I'll share these presets. I'm going to create some presets for you guys to just throw on your, your tracks and um, try and mix them using some presets. I don't necessarily always use presets because I feel like when I do, I get stuck in a rut or I just tend to go for certain things when I have presets. But sometimes it's handy to have a preset just to throw on there as a guide and then work from there. So maybe that might help you guys out as well. But, you know, if you can see the frequency spectrum on what's happening on this EQ, you can kind of see the curve is allowing some of the, the mid stuff to be cut out. And you only use that on some things like, for example, this kick. Now, I'll just play this whole track to you. It's going to be a bit, um, you know, the static is a bit dry right now, but I'll just play it so you can hear it. Now, I've got a lot to do on this track. I just started working on the, the static mix, which is the gain staging part. I got the gain stage to be kind of where I wanted it to be. And this is actually a track I'm going to be wrapping on later on. I just have to get the things sorted out with the mix first, and then I'll introduce my uh, my rap later. And also another guy that I'm working with in WA, that's Western Australia. Uh, he's also going to be on the track. So it's going to be pretty fire. Um, that's going to be released hopefully in January sometime, if not February. But um, we're just working on the mix right now. I just wanted to show you guys kind of a little technique or a tip uh, to hope that you guys get this kind of better mix happening on your side. And if there's anything you have any comments or questions about, or if you just want to tell people your style of EQ down in the comment section, that'd be super cool. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video and uh, peace out. See you then.